This wonderful broadcasting gem of a guitar made by Thomas Freddy at home is a double O model. And um, when I first picked it up um, and started playing it, I realized that it was just something that had such a powerful kind of almost barking mid-range if you really gave it some energy, but also this very sweet kind of rich thing that I love, you know, in a guitar, so. Yeah, I had to have it. <laughs> this instrument reminds me more of a cello <laughs> than a guitar. In fact, if I had a gig with a symphony orchestra or even a, a, a quartet, a string quartet, I would choose this in, instrument for its timbre. I have a lot of guitars and I play, you know, finger-picking blues a lot. And um, what's important is to have a powerful bottom end, which this does, especially for such a small guitar. But for any guitar, it's just got a wonderful <laughs> bass end. But also it has this evenness that's so musical. That's what I can say about this guitar. It's um, in itself, it's so well uh, balanced that it has a, a voice that is just um, kind of makes you want to play uh, and write. It's, um, it's robust, but it's also fine. It's really fine. Yeah, it's, it reminds me of a cello, you know. <laughs> I'm uh, hesitant about putting a microphone in it because it just sounds so great and I think I'll just um, play it through a really good microphone, you know, um, because I wouldn't want to change this thing, you know. You can do that with other guitars and you can do lots of effects, but this particular guitar I think I just want it au naturel. Mm -hmm. 